In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the admin area of our new WordPress site. First of all, let's take a look at what our new WordPress site looks like. So you just go to mysite.com, or in my case, I would just go to forward slash test WP because that's where I installed the WordPress files. So this is what your new site should look like and you can change the appearance later on. Okay, now if you want to log in to your WordPress site, you would just go to type in after the forward slash type in w, WP slash admin. So in your case, it may be abc.com forward slash WP slash admin. And you just type in your username and the password that you created. Okay, so right now we're looking at the dashboard. If you want to customize your site, you just click on here. Uh, you can see you could write your first blog post by clicking on here. You can add an about page, view your site. Okay, and on the left hand column, uh, just look at it. This is where you could create more posts, add new posts, uh, the media. For example, if you want to add videos or pictures. Um, if you want to change the appearance, you just go to here, appearance, and you just go to themes. So let's just take a look at that. There's a couple of themes available here that you can install right now if you want to change the appearance of your site. Uh, you could also just go to Google and do a search for free WordPress themes if you want to search for more uh, professional or just get a different a wide variety of themes that you may want to add to your site. Okay, and let's take a look at the plugins here. So for example, if you want to install a membership site or some cool pop-ups or any interesting tools to make your site more interactive, uh, you would need a plugin. Um, you could do a Google search for free WordPress plugins. And if you want to install a plugin here, uh, you would just go to add new and you would just go to upload and then you just do click on browse and browse your the files on your computer look for that zip folder and then you just install it here and then you activate it okay so i think i've covered everything i need to uh, in regards to installing a wordpress site in the future uh, i may create more videos um, to and how to make a more professional looking site uh, but for now what you've seen is the basics of installing WordPress.